So I just started off, just begun the off-road part from Winchester. It's very cold. You can't really see it, but you can see my breath. It's pretty, pretty chilly. Uh, the ground's pretty sodden as well. It's been raining a lot. Not ideal, but, you know, got to do it. It's a challenge. So, yeah, wish me luck. Well, lads, I've done two miles. Eastbourne's only 98 away. God, I'm tired already. So, first major hill done. It's just gone out of Winchester, basically. Um, I had to take off my uh, my jacket, surprisingly. Got too hot. But at least I've got it in case it does rain, because it's here in England. Oh, I've just gone through my first gate. Those of you who followed me last time know how many gates I had to go through. Look at this handy map. Shows me how much I've got to do. And I'm there. Brilliant. Of course, the problem with it being wet is that there's so much shit from all these animals. God, that's a lot of crap. Oh, yeah. My night's got really good. Um, went over a really sharp flint. You can see it in there. That's really bad. Um, I'm going to try and plug it. I've got a stand dart. Uh, if that doesn't work, I'm going to have to put a tube in it. Um, great. It's a bloody razor, no wonder I've got a puncher. Christ. As you can see, I've just put this little dart thing in there, it's barbed. Now, apparently this fabric reacts with the sealant. Um, so, hopefully that will seal it. So, it didn't work. Sometimes the hole is just too big and that is really is quite big. And obviously I dumped most of my sealant on the floor. So, I'm going to have to stick a tube in this. So I fixed the puncture, well, I changed, I, you know, I put a tube in, annoyingly, it took way longer than I expected, I'm cold, which is great, and my hands smell like cow shit, because, well, I've had to change the tube, this is going well. well luckily someone's put some hand sanitizer here, so I can rub the shit off my hands. So, I'm up Beacon Hill, um, that's the trig point, one of those dots out there is actually the top of the Spinnaker Tower, you can't really see it. That, like, red one there. Really, really faint on camera, but, yeah. Um, yeah, two hours in. Let's go. <laughs> Can you see all those pairs of eyes? It's almost a bit eerie. Look. Ooh. Oh, they're all going away now. Bye. So we are nearly four hours in. Three hours, 45. Just got to the top of Batsa Hill, which is my local hill. Did a lot of my training here. It's the highest point in Hampshire and the South Downs Way, fun fact. It's really cold. Uh, underestimated how cold it was. I've put on my second base layer. It's about six degrees. So it feels like five because of the wind. Um, so yeah, hopefully, <sighs> hopefully it gets a bit easier. Just looked at the weather. It said it feels like three degrees. Well, I can concur with that. It is cold. That's how cold it is. Like, really cold. So, just about five hours in. Just over 30 miles, just over a thousand meters climbing. That's about uh, a quarter of what I've got to do climbing wise. Um, I'm starting to feel this ride. My legs are hurting. Wow, they're feeling a bit achy. It might be because my body thinks I should be asleep right now at five in the morning. Um, hopefully I'll get through it. So I've had a pretty hard time since that last update. Um, kind of crippled me a bit. Uh, just got so mentally drained and physically I just couldn't even go any further. I uh, had, to, had to sit down and just shut my eyes for about 10, 15 minutes. Um, and then of course I got really cold, so I had to warm myself back up. Uh, it was definitely a low point, um, but the sun's just coming up. As you can see, it's almost light. So uh, I'm feeling a bit better. So the sun's up now, apparently. A bit cloudy. Still really, really cold. Um, the last time I was at this water tap here, um, it was really hot. It was like 26 degrees or something. I was bathing in the water. I've treated myself to one of my bananas. Uh, I can do this, I think. So 
So someone uh, requested a mileage update. Um, I will show you. There's all the stats. 43 miles, 1600 meters ascent, nearly eight hours. Oh, I'm so hanging out of my ass. It's a struggle. And now it's decided to rain. Yay. So we're nearly halfway. God, I've developed a pain in my left knee as well. I think it's my IT band. Um, I've taken some painkillers. I'm just going to have to man up. Um, yeah, so quite nice over there. I think that's Worthing, I think. I sat on that bench last time for a bit, but ain't nobody got time for that. Not as nice as these as last time, but still pretty spectacular. Minus the rubbish. Who did that? Oh, nice bridge. Ooh. I'm now in Amberley, which is just about halfway. So it's going to be a long day because it's been about nine hours. Oh my god. Oh, nice little drinking water stop with some sheepies. Oh, that hill looks horrendous, doesn't it? Oh, you have no idea how hard that hill was. But on the other, on the other side, look at this. Look at the lovely view. Lovely. So, done about 2,000 metres of ascending. Over halfway now. It's quite depressing how much I've still got to go. I'm starting to feel that. Um, it is incredibly difficult. My ass really hurts. Um, yeah, but it's everything hurts. So I've just come to the point where I camped last time I did this in two days. So any any mileage now is now almost like a you know it's just adding to the record of so many miles in one day just through those bushes there right next to the trail here mm. right so those three hills over there one two three i'm going over all of them and ladies and gents we have 60 miles Wow, that is a lot of climbing. Wow, look at the baby pigs. Oh, wow. I'll never know, the sun's actually come out, which is nice. I may not freeze to death after all. Oh. Look at that. Do you just want to jump in there? Yeah, me neither. It's such a good idea to have these water stations at various points because there's no way that you'd better carry all, all of your fluids. There just is no way. So I filled up my camelback and my bottle. Um, let's go. So I'm crouching out the wind so you can hear me. But at five past one, so not long, um, BBC Radio Solon are going to be ringing me, hopefully they can get hold of me, uh, to do a little in interview about what I'm doing. Um, you know, so uh, anyone who's interested, keep an eye out for that on the radio. So, I found a wild Lucas. He's decided to come up, do a section of the trail with me, give me some company, which is, it is very windy. People can't really tell. They may be able to, so let's have a quick, a quick break. So, just went along, I picked up a thorny stick. Now you can see it's fully in there. This is my tubed tyre as well, and I've just tried pulling it out and there's a hiss. So I'm going to try and snap it off and leave it in there. And then at least I can give it a best chance at staying like that. So it turns out we couldn't, I couldn't plug it with that because let's face it, it's a bit of a bodge. So I'm now going to try and fix this puncture so I've got one remaining tube left. Brilliant. So I managed to fix the puncture, touch wood. Um, set us back about half an hour, but check the views out of Brighton down there, eh?
So last time I met Jake Deacon over there and we sat and had a nice cup of tea together. Unfortunately he's working, but I'm still thinking of you, bro. So annoyingly, my headphones run out of charge and I really can't be asked to stop and charge them. So, silence it is. But, on other news, 76 miles. Um, yeah, going a bit slow, but hey, in it for the long haul, I'm gonna get this done, no matter what. So I'm just at the crossing of the A27. It happens quite later on. Past Brighton, which is good. So it's the home stretch kind of, but there's still loads of mental hills I've got to do. Uh, I'm just having my second banana. Uh, I'm at a water stop, as you can see there. Trust me, it's there. Um, yeah, um, I've, like, I'm feeling good, which is good. I think it's because my body knows that there isn't much left. I mean, everything still hurts. Mentally, I think I know that there's not long left. So my mind's kind of accelerating my body or something. Does that make sense? I'm probably talking crap, but uh, yeah. This bit is great. So much descent. As everyone knows, I just love opening these gates so much and they just shut on you all the time. So my, my left IT band is becoming quite a problem now. Uh, I can't walk on it, but luckily it's easier to cycle. It's quite bad at high cadence. Um, I've got painkillers, but I can't really do much more than that. I'm just gonna have to try and tough it out. Um, I've done some stretches, um, courtesy of uh, Matisse Ingram, but um, I think it was already past the point of no return. Um, starting to get really, really difficult now. So close, but there's still so many hills. Um, just can't wait to get it. Can't wait to get it. That's what we're looking at. I've got virtually nothing left. I'm just pushing, pushing, pushing. It's probably gonna get dark in a bit, but I've got a bit of juice left in these. I am determined, I've never been more determined to carry on. Right, I've been out so long, but now my lights are back on. You have no idea how hard this has been today. Completely underestimated it again. I've got, I've got nothing left, I'm giving it all. I could almost cry if I'm honest with you. Eastbourne, only four miles away. I'm on the last hill before Eastbourne. There it is! There's fucking Eastbourne! Ah! I don't believe it, I fucking made it. I made it. Ah, oh, I made it here in one piece. My front light died, but luckily I got this one on my head. Oh my God. Hardest thing I've ever done. Now I just need to find my dad. I was, I ain't going home. Oh yeah. There he is the Lord Saviour, my ride. Hello! Well done. I'm so fucked! <laughs> Literally. It's like 19 hours non-stop riding. <laughs>